Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Friday, November 1st, 2024, pre-market report. I want to start off with the economic news that we just got. First of all, before I even show this to you, realize what we're actually looking at here. This is propaganda. Now, apparently we got an abysmal, absolutely abysmal, jobs report for the month here. So U.S. economy added just 12,000 jobs in October. Okay, let me explain this to you maybe the real way. We're not adding a single job. Net-net, we are losing jobs. We have business activity in contraction. We have factory and manufacturing in contraction. It's over. And this is not just a phenomenon here in the United States. Look, I read the, through the comments. I understand what's really happening here. And it seems that there still is a whole bunch of you who seem to be absolutely brain locked into thinking this is just an issue with the United States. It is not just an issue with the United States. People, wake the freak up, man. It's the fault of this person. It's the fault of that person. Nonsense. That's what you've been told to believe. But it's not true because it's a deception. Keeping your eyes off of the target. The target here, or we're the target. But it's central banks, man, collectively destroying us all. Let me say something else here. We have hit the point of no return. The point of no return has already been passed, okay? The maximum saturation moment. We are debt saturated and we are now seeing the effect of it. This is deliberate, people. Come on, man. I understand that, look, I cannot wait for this freak show selection to be over with. Because maybe some of you, and I don't think so, there were some of you that are so lost and absolutely brainwashed into whatever narrative so-and-so is pushing, you can't break out of it. I understand that this is fear, this is insecurity, whatever it might be, but it's a personal problem on your part. You gotta overcome that. And you have to understand that we are being wiped out. We, the people of the world, are being wiped out. You're being targeted. How many years ago, some of you have been with me this long to remember, I said if you are a member of the middle class, you have a tattoo of a target on your face and you can't get it off. There's a freight train coming right at you and you can't sidestep this. I've said this for 10 years. Now maybe you're starting to understand what's going on. And the other the part of this that some of you still, no matter how many times I explain this, you just don't get it. The faster the economy free falls, the higher the market's going to go until it doesn't. And you and I are watching this, people. This is a gift, man, to all of you. I don't know another way to put it. It's the key to everything we're seeing. And this is not good. This spike, this is a sell-off in the debt market. And we understand that the debt market is, again, think about it. Think about what I'm going to say to you. Okay. Central banks collectively around the world who have their bases in every continent around this world. This is a war. Them against us. The middle class and we're losing. You understand? And there's no way out of it. The wealth, all, all of the, these tales, these fables about trickle down. Let's make the rich richer. And it's going to trickle down to you and you're going to do really, really well. It doesn't work. Do you need more evidence of this? People look, man. Under the last presi three presidential selectees, we have seen more millionaires and billionaires being created than any other time in history. Why? Because trickle down economics works. It doesn't work. If we really had an actual leader who would... Tell us the truth that we do not need lower rates, that we do not need a weaker currency. This is the promises that's coming out of the mouth of Trump, the mouth of Kamala. If we had a real leader say, no, 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 we need the polar opposite because we need to build this from the bottom up because trickle down don't work. Can you, this is what we have, man. Wake the freak up. Every so-called developed nation on this planet has the same basic economic system. Make the rich richer. It's going to trickle down to you, and you're going to be better off. I mean, whoever came up with that concept and then sold it to you, the freaking smartest person on the history, in the history of the world, it's the one and two percenters who are benefiting from this. It's called the Cantillon effect. People, look it up for yourself. 
It doesn't work and we are being wiped out. Now the fact, the fact that we have surpassed this maximum saturation moment where the system becomes absolutely debt saturated, well, you're seeing the side effect of it now and this is a crumbling global economy. It's in your face and if you don't wake up to this, I mean, you but really, is this the land of the lost? Do you remember that But when you were a kid, if you're as old as me, the land of the lost, they're making fun of us then too. It is the land of the lost. People don't know which end is up, which end is down, upside down or sideways because they've been brain locked into believing in that there's a system out there that's out there to benefit them and it's not. People, man, I don't know what else to tell you guys and girls, but the fact is we have, we're in a very interesting time here. And we have certainly passed the point of no return. And the fact that you have central banks and they're continuing to inflate as the world economy contracts, that alone should tell you something. But who's pointing their finger at that? Has, has Harris pointed her finger at that? No. Has Trump told you about that? No. So who do you think they work for? They work for you, really, honestly? I can't believe people have been that dumbed down, but I guess they have. Not you. Not you guys and girls that follow this blog. For the most part, you get it. But look, what does this mean? Let me say this too, man. We're moving into a weekend. Is there going to be another false flag? I would be willing to bet we're going to see something here. Maybe right after the market closed today, something in the Middle East. They're already setting up the groundwork here. It's not going to stop. War is a mechanism to pull cash into the now. No matter who is selected, is not going to stop. Or maybe even another scandemic, which has proven to be the ultimate mechanism to pull cash into the now. Are we on the same page here with this? Either way, it means currency devaluation and more financial hardship for you. And the fact that we are in this point of no return right now means that you and I have to be more diligent, take more action ahead of what is coming. Now, let me just say this again also. First of all, you know my take on commodities. This is gold, silver, and crude oil this morning. Um, this is where you need to be. I also believe you need to be in cryptos, but hold on a minute. Let's just sit back for a second. We're moving into the selection here, for which... In my opinion, you have zero say-so here. You can vote for anyone you want to. It's a selection. That's my opinion. You're certainly entitled to your own here. Uh, whatever. Okay. With that, we need to be ready. Now, for my lions out here that are in the stock market, now is the time to start hedging your positions. I spoke about this uh, during the week here, I, I laid out a scenario which I will be undertaking here. I am going to be hedging my long positions in this stock market with protective puts. Basically, I'm buying an insurance policy here in case this goes awry. What do we know? What do we know? It all comes down to what we know. First of all, we have a market that isn't a market anymore. It is so detached from any sense of reality. What we have had, I want you to Lock in with me. Let's mind meld like, you know, had the Vulcan mind meld for a second. The mechanism here of artificially suppressed rates and currency devaluation, which both of our illustrious presidential selectees are pushing on you right now. One of them, Trump, the man wanted negative rates during his tenure here. The market wants Trump for that sole reason. OK, because it's hoping we're going to get zero or negative rates, which means what? Massive economic destruction, but the one or two percenters would benefit from this. It should be a no brainer to you. Again, to have a strong economy, you need a strong currency. You need a corresponding rate of interest that will allow the currency to remain strong. You can't separate these two things here. When you have presidential puppet one and presidential puppet two in here, selling you the Fed's plan. You tell me who they work for. You still think they work for you? You think Trump is your hero? You think Kamala is your hero? You still believe that because you can't unlock your brain because you've been brainwashed? Then I don't know what to tell you, man. Then you're, you're going to lose like you've been losing. The fact is, we are debt saturated. With the help of the last three presidents, the Federal Reserve has been vaulted into the most powerful organization that has ever existed on the face of this. And we're still hearing the, the, the same brain-locked people. Here. Oh, Trump is going to take down the Fed. That's what we heard last time. What did he do? He made the Fed exponentially stronger, pulling nearly $9 trillion into existence 
helping the Fed fulfill their endgame. You think it's going to change no matter who's selected here? Of course not. But the fact of the matter is we are in this, this maximum saturation moment and we need to be ready for what's coming down the pike. Massive currency devaluation, artificially suppressed rates. And this bond market sell-off, this is on a hair trigger, people. This can get out of hand in a nanosecond. In a nanosecond. Remember, don't focus on this number so much. It's how fast we get there. Will you look at that? That is epic, man. Epic. Is it over? I have no freaking idea. What we do know is if the Fed doesn't get in here and start buying more debt, it's over. We're going to see that this is going to spike off the page, which is going to melt down world stock markets. It's going to push us into the greatest depression of all time. Now, again, understanding that the mechanism of artificially suppressed rates, currency devaluation, has created this environment of multiples expansion, meaning that investors will pay anything to own a part of the stock market. This is going to flip the other way in such a dramatic way. And all those digits that are on your screen that you think are there that that are not, they don't exist. <laughs> they're, they're not on an elemental chart. It's all going away here, along with your bank accounts and everything else here. We're going to end up in a credit freeze. There's just no way out of that either. That was the real issue in 2008. You all know that if you've been with me. That's why Bernanke was sent over there before a loving, caring representative said, if we don't start pumping billions into the system tonight, over the weekend, by Monday, we won't have an economy. Okay, was it the stock market? Now, we're going to face a moment of a multiple contraction as we see an eventual massive sell-off here in the debt market off the charts with the MMRI. The market is, again... There's no reality here. There's no price discovery here. But the fact of the matter is, we do not need lower rates, no more currency devaluation, because as you can see, it doesn't work. Anywhere in the world, wherever you are, and I, and I have people that follow this blog all over this freaking world, we're all in the same boat here. But again, it's the dumbed down, just a, a, a fraction of the society here in the United States. Trust me, my friends around the world, it's not all Americans that are imbeciles. Some of them are following imbeciles here. Okay, we got that. And they're brain locked. They can't get out of it. And it's again, it's the weak minded. It's the fear. It's the insecurity and those that prey on it, that push those people into that little box in that little corner over there. Can't snap out of it. But the fact of the matter is they're being led to their own demise. And I, I've said this is suicide. People are committing suicide right now by not holding their so-called illustrious leaders to account. They can say whatever they want to. They can, they can float out any lie they want to. And the brain-dead zombie is going to follow along. That's not the people that follow this blog. So trust me, I know that. But unfortunately, the, there's a lot of people like that. And uh, it's an incredible thing to see, um, honestly, where people have lost touch with reality. And uh, it, it's, again, I, I just can't even get my head around it. But we're gonna, what, what we need here, people, again, we're not going to get what we need. We're going to get a puppet to sit behind the Resolute Desk who's going to promise you lower rates, maybe even call for negative rates. We need to be ready for anything here. Now let's just let's just regroup what, to what we know here. We know the market want, the stock market wants Trump, hoping for a negative rate environment, which would be, of course, massively destructive for the economy, worse off than we are now. We need the polar opposite of that. If Kama is selected, this market is going to, in my opinion, have a tantrum. Tantrum. The crypto space. I've been telling you this for a while now could potentially throw a big tantrum. We could see this crypto space cut in half. Now, I am playing this. I've already told you. I'm an open book. Everyone knows what I'm doing. I am not touching my crypto positions. I've. You must expect volatility here. Any drop, in my opinion, all right, you're entitled to your own, in the crypto space, you should expect it. Okay, no matter who's selected here, but the crypto space, the crypto president, the Bitcoin president, the president that's going to make the United States, the crypto capital of the world, no mention whatsoever <laughs> of a constitutional money system. Crypto. Okay, make it up, man. Make it up. But anyway, look, what else would you expect in this environment of imbeciles pr pretending to be leaders and intelligent people? You can't make it up. But again, that's what we have. So we live with it. Unfortunately, it's not going to change. You and I got each other's backs, always. You and I look out for each other, always. We're, t we're making the right moves. We've been on the, do you realize for how many years you and I have been on the right track with this, calling this market, how it would go. It's played out exactly as we said it would. 
and things are going to play out exactly as we're going to say they are, as we always have been, moving forward. There's no way to stop it. The point of no return has been achieved. Maximum saturation. We're going to see more of that moving forward. And it's a destruction on a global scale. Okay. Hedge your positions, my lions. Start to think about how you want... This. You don't just have to take up protective puts like I intend to do, or buying an insurance policy against my long positions here. Okay. I think you need to be ready for, for a sell-off here in the market if Trump is not selected. If Trump is selected, we still may, be, may see a little sell the news moment here. Watch what's going to happen to the futures markets in just a couple of days here on Tuesday. I expect, and again, let's see if I'm wrong or right, Trump to proclaim victory before the whole tally is, and that could potentially send the futures market into a, a, a frenzy. So if you are a futures trader out here, <laughs> uh, I, I, blah, that's all I have to say. Just be ready for anything over there too. Um, anyway, look, man, we're not going to change anything here. We're going to hedge our positions going into the selection. Crypto, expect volatility. Gold and silver, commodities, people, look, man, look for any opportunity to add to your positions here. Do what central banks are doing here. Central banks are betting against their own system. Right now, central banks are the, obviously the number one issuer and buyer of debt here. They're fulfilling their, their end game to own it all, okay? And they will get a puppet to sit behind the resolute desk to help them fulfill that, that end game. The market's hoping it's going to be Trump here. Again, negative rates would propel the stock market into heights you can't possibly believe, but the economy would crater even faster. You understand? It's the same two factors that are destroying the economy that are propelling the stock market higher. Artificially suppressed rates, weaker currency, massively economic negative. These are economic destroyers, but they're stock market positive. Why do you think we were seeing a global economy contract at its fastest pace we've ever seen? And stock markets near record highs. Is it, is it, are you starting to wake up a little bit here? <laughs> I hope so. So what this means for us here is, look, man, this is all about opportunity. It always is for you and me. I've been telling all of you for how long now? 10 years? Silver, gold, commodities. That These are real things. Currency devaluation is not going to stop. Mechanisms. War, scamdemics, maybe another warp speed, whatever it might be. Whatever they got to do to pu pull cash into the now. If that's not going to stop until it does. And we're going to know when the music stops. When the music stops, this, the MMRI, which look, man, I, again, I created this for me. Um, and I said, you know what? Why not release it to everyone, everyone for free? For free. So again, there is a link in the description of the video. Watch this. Watch the pace. If we level off here, or if we go down, let's say after the selection, whatever, the Fed gets in here and starts buying more, where do you think the market's going to go? You think it's going to drop? Everything is based on the debt market. You know this. Assets across the board are deriving value from debt market action. So what does that mean? That assets across the board are now derivatives as to what is happening in the debt market. Does that make sense to you? It should. That is not going to stop. Sell-off in the debt market is going to cause a multiple contraction in the stock market that's going to spin people's heads around like the freaking exorcist. They're not going to know what hit them. It's going to be like a freight train. But it's got to be an event here. And, you know, look, I was reading through the comments again last night. There is still, look, maybe you're right. Maybe you're correct. I don't know everything. But there's a lot of you out here who believe that this event is going to be the selection here. Many of you believe that the United States is going to be thrown into civil war. I don't see it. I, I, how I look at these things is very, very basic. If you can point at it, it's not it. It's going to be an outlier. But it is possible. I mean, anything is possible. But So what does that mean? It means you got to raise your awareness as to any possibility. Could the selection be combined with another event? Who knows what that could be? Anything. But you and I always have the high ground. Expect anything to happen. And with that said, that 
should give you some kind of a peace of mind here, having your positions hedged as I intend to do. You all know that here. Um, being spread out, and then more importantly, people looking out for each other here, having each other's backs, realizing realizing that the system is meant to destroy us, and if we don't do something about it, and we are, we're going to go down with this sinking ship here, which is way past the point of no return, debt saturation. So to all of you who believe it's the fault of this person and the fault of that person, it's actually your own fault because we've allowed this to manifest. We don't, there's no accountability anymore. We're a conquered people. We have been divided and conquered. And they're laughing at us, the one and two percenters. They're laughing at us. How easy it is, that's what they're saying, to manipulate the minds of men and women, not you. Now, you guys and girls that follow this blog, because I sincerely believe in my heart that we are the revolution. We are the select few here who have the, the best possibility of, of bringing about real change. Does that sound about right to you? That's how I feel about it. Anyway, look, man. So, just look. With, with regard to the propaganda going back here, we're not adding any jobs. I want you to think about what I just said. And by their own mouths, we have business activity contracting, not just here, but around the world. Manufacturing contracting around the world. Factory activity contracting around the world. The world economy contracting at its fastest pace we've ever seen. Global debt ballooning at the fastest pace we've ever seen. Central banks buying it all. Issuing debt through one door, buying it back through another. Then at the same time, hoarding. They're the number one buyer of gold right now. What does that tell you? They're betting against their own system. Their own debt-based system, gold, silver, anti-debt units. What have we been doing forever? Betting against the debt, becoming our own central bank, taking advantage of everything that comes along our way. Sound about right to you? All right, look, we covered a lot here. We covered a lot here, but I think today, today is the day for my lions, especially out here that are in this stock market. You got to think about hedging your positions here, moving into the selection. All right. If you're in gold and silver, you're laughing. If you're not in this market, you're laughing too. If you got out, I know a lot of you did already. You closed your positions. You're just riding this. You're good, man. You're good. You're looking for a better opportunity. You're in a cash position. Bad place to be. I get that. But it's very short. You're allowed to do that once in a while. Okay. Sometimes you got to step out of this, out of this freaking Babylon system, and I may totally disconnect from it. Me, I'm trying to step out of this as much as I possibly can. But unfortunately, we're in it. And as I said, we're in this Babylon system, but you don't have to be of it, but we can take advantage of it. And that's exactly what I'm looking to do for all of you as well. We're taking advantage of the destruction. It's really the truth here. It's a, it, it's, it's a controlled demolition, a methodical, very methodical deconstruction of the current system. As central banks prepare to issue in their new system here, this tokenized system. Sound about right? All right, people, look, that's kind of it. Now, look, today is the first of the month. On the first of every month, I ask for your support. Greg's doing a good job. I want to support your work. There's several ways you can do this. I ask for five bucks. That's it. Every month, the first of every month, I say, hey, guys, you know, support my work. There are links in the description of this video to support my work. I really hope that you do that. And if you want to support my work with crypto, I'm all for it, too. There's a link down there, too. So, anyway, look, man, I got you back. I know you got mine. So, uh um, I would really appreciate you supporting my work here. Um, and again, there are links in the description of this video to uh, take advantage of that. Several ways to do it. All right. I love all of you from the heart. I mean that with all I got. I want you to ponder what we've spoken about here. Okay. Think about what it means for you. For my lions, start to think about how you want to head your positions going into the selection here. I really think that's prudent of you. All right. Just a little insurance policy could go a long way here. I really mean that. All right. I will see all of you later, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. Love you all from the heart. I mean that. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other, okay?